Oh god. <clears throat> I've been muted for so long I actually forgot what I sounded like. <clears throat> so, do you want to talk about video games? Alright, we can begin. Video games, we all have our favorites. Shooters, puzzle games, platformers, or if you're insane, gotch games. However, you probably imagined games from something like the Steam Store, you know, big AAA titles or good, well-known indie titles, but I'm actually talking of different types of games. Games that came for free with your cereal. Now, I obviously don't mean to brag, but I own a whopping total of five cereal games. Yeah, great collection, I know. Now I'm not going to claim that these games were some sort of hidden masterpieces just so I can put a weird uh, clickbait thumbnail of two soy jacks pointing at a game and put something in the title like This is the biggest hidden gem of the serial games. Something like that. No, these games are just kind of mediocre. There's nothing interesting about them. It's just two Angry Birds games and three shitty racer games. It's kinda of sad this is one of the only ways I can play Angry Birds 1 legally without having to download APK files, which might have viruses. So, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, let's play this. This team never gets old. Angry Birds Breakfast 1 has a total of 7 levels. It's not too much, but for a free serial game you get along with your food, I think that's a pretty decent amount. So I can't complain much. Instead of retrieving eggs from the pigs, we are trying to retrieve cereal. Yeah, very creative, I know. The levels aren't exactly too complex, they're pretty simple. And it appears they're themed after breakfast, so there's lots of fruit, bowls, spoons, you know, cereal, all that stuff. The levels aren't exactly too difficult. They're pretty decent, they're well built, they look nice, they're pretty to look at. You know, fun to play. I don't think there's some sort of overarching theme other than breakfast, because this is, you know, a cereal game. It has to be themed after cereal and breakfast. There really isn't too much to say. All the levels are just really quick, easy to beat, but fun. The game is mediocre. What else do you want me to say? The only level worth mentioning is the final one. It's pretty good. That's about it. And that's all that there is for Angry Birds 1. It's honestly pretty decent and you could get mileage out of it if you have nothing else to play. You could probably go for high scores. So yeah, pretty decent game. <laughs> this is pretty much just the same thing just for some reason on the second DVD. Yeah, the levels are also worse here. Now I know that's surely a very bold statement for a serial game like this, a very good game, surely, AAA material. But really the levels just feel way weaker here. I prefer the first one, that's really my only complaint about this one. Other than that, there isn't much else to be said. You play as new birds, that's about it. And it's just more angry birds. So that's good. I don't have much else to add, it's probably pretty obvious that I'm stretching time just because I don't have a script because I can't write the script. I mean I am recording this as an excuse to test out the DaVinci Resolve and see how that works. That's pretty much the only reason I'm making this really. Yeah, there was a third one. I tried to make it run but uh... No matter how many sacrifices I gave, I couldn't get it to run. So I just gave up, I'm gonna link a gameplay video in the description so you can watch it there. I don't really wanna just steal someone's video. The most interesting thing is that it has twice the content the DVDs do. So yeah, that's about it. I couldn't get them to run, so I'm just gonna take some YouTube videos and talk about the game that way just comparing the three at once because they're very 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 similar. For example, they all have the same customization menu. The user interface is pretty much the same throughout all these games. The maps are slightly changed, 
but they're pretty much the same layout. The only really big telling difference that these are different games is the vehicles you drive. But even then, from what I remember, they didn't really feel too different, just the same game over and over again, which makes sense, it's a serial game. It definitely entertained me when I was younger, so there's that at least. It could definitely be fun to play for like 5 minutes. And well, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I totally don't have something else I wanna talk about, so we can just end the video right now. Now before you say it, yes, I know this isn't a serial game, but I wanted to talk about it, I think it's pretty cool. And when else am I gonna really show it and talk about it? Also, no matter what I search up, I cannot find a DVD that I have. I can only find the big DVD that's, you know, readily available to buy. Which I think is pretty interesting, like, why isn't this anywhere else? At all? Yeah, it's pretty much a minigame collection. The first game is all about you dodging obstacles so you can reach the end of the stage. After one long and painful level, we finally reach the end and get rewarded with uh, three shell medals. Great. The second game has you shooting Chicken Joe and Arnold. There isn't too much in the aspect of difficulty, so it's just a shooting gallery that gets faster and faster. Regardless, this is one of the more entertaining games. Truly the peak of entertainment. Okay, so this is the game I remember most. I have no idea why. It's probably the dumb premise, where you throw pineapples at boards. Trust me, it's as stupid as it sounds. The only saving grace of this minigame is that it's over fast. Alright, so hear me out. Have you ever played those kissing flash games where you're meant to kiss for as long as possible without getting caught? Basically, this is just that. Except no kissing. So it's worse. And with this, we finally reach the end, the final minigame. Our reward is, I don't know, this I guess, like first place, I'm not sure. Also the menu changes, you get all the medals, that's cool. Apart from that, there are these three studios. There's the paint studio, in which you just, you know, paint stuff like a coloring book. I'm pretty sure you can also print it out. There's also the print studio, in which you can make stuff to print out. There's also the shirt studio, you just print out stuff for your shirt. There's also a fourth studio I forgot to mention, which is the wallpaper studio. So you can make your own wallpaper, which is pretty neat. The only issue is that you can't make whatever you want. You can only use like one background, one character and one object. So you can't really make anything you want, like you can't have two characters at once. And that's all of the food games I owned. Why did I make this video? 
to test out DaVinci Resolve and really post something normal on my YouTube channel for once. I originally planned this to be a text-only video, but uh, you know, I would have to talk eventually, someday. I did try voice training, but it's a bit difficult for me, so like, I didn't really bother too much. I think that's pretty much all I really need to say. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm sure I'll figure out a better way to make other videos, like, I don't know, something interesting in the foreground, so when there's just talking, or some interesting outro, or intro. But until that happens, you're just gonna have to stick with this.